What is up YouTube? This is Anashi with yet another deck profile video. This time I'll be showcasing my gray deck, the deck of zombies. I like to point out right now that this deck is not 100% pure zombie. There's a couple of dragons in the extra deck, but I don't think anyone's going to complain because I'm pretty sure everyone already knows which dragons I'm running in this deck. Starting right off, we have one copy of Plague Spreader Zombie. If it's in your grave, you can put a card in your hand on top of your deck and special summon it. But if you do, it's banished. And I don't really use this effect very much. I more often than not use the other summoning effects. Shirnui Spectral Sword, on the other hand, another two-star zombie tuner, just like Plague Spreader, but its effect is that if it's in your graveyard and you have another zombie in your graveyard, you can banish it and the other monster and special summon a synchro monster from your extra deck, not synchro summon, just special summon, whose levels are equal. Can't do that during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, but that's perfectly fine in my opinion. Then we get to the level 3s, and I've got a bit of an odd tech choice. First off, we know about the Unizombies. Everyone runs 3 Unizombie. Once per turn, you can drop a card from either your hand or your deck and increase a monster's level on the field by 1. You have to drop a zombie to do it. But if you use the one where you drop it from deck, only zombies can attack this turn, which is fine. It's a, still a great card. The other card that people are probably questioning right now is Beast of the Pharaoh. This is an old card that never really saw play. What I will traditionally do is if I have this in hand and Mizuki in hand, I'll use uni both the Unizombies effects, make itself a level 5, and with this and Mizuki in the graveyard, I will banish Mizuki, special summon this, and tune it with the 5 star Unizami for an 8 star Synchro. And then I'll traditionally bring one of these two back if it's first turn, or a different one back entirely if I feel like it. Honestly, this card has tremendous play. You have 3 Goblin Zombie. If it's sent from the field to the grave, you get to add a zombie from your deck to your hand, as long as it has 1200 or less defense, and that's yeah, very easy to do with this deck. Most of them have zero defense. Except for Mizuki, of course. If it's in the grave, you get the banished shit and special summon a zombie. We all know what this card does. One Shiranui Smith. A lot of people have been recommending two Smith and two Goblin Zombie for the sake of Synchro and the trap use, but I find that three Goblin Zombie and one Smith works better. If it's sent from your side of the field to the graveyard as a Synchro material, you can add a Shiranui card from your deck to your hand, except Smith. This effect can only be used once per turn, but if it's banished, you get to make your zombie monsters indestructible in battle this turn. Not really a useful effect, that's the main reason I put it the one, but its synchroing effect isn't bad, and if I happen to get it, it works. Unfortunately, I'm proxying two of my three copies of Shiranui Solitaire. I'm going to get more soon, I hope, but in the meantime, its effects are still amazing, and I'm definitely going to run it at three when I can. It's Lone Fire Blossom. You tribute a zombie you control, and special summon a zombie tuner with zero defense from the deck. And if this card's banished, you target a banished Shiranui monster, except itself, and special summon it. But if you control the field spell Shiranui style synthesis, you get the special summon too. Each effect can only be used once per turn, though, so no multi using. Uh, Shame of Shir Shiranui Spirit Master. If it's normal summoned, you special summon a Shiranui from your hand or grave, except itself but you banish it when it leaves the field, which sets off so many effects. And it's... other effects pretty good too. You tar If it's banished, you target a face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. And Zombie Master. It's there for the same reason as Shiranui Spirit Master, but I think its effects a little better, depending on your opinion. Uh, once per turn, you send a monster from your hand to the grave, special summon a zombie from grave, but this card has to remain face-up on the field to resolve the effect. Then we move into the spell cards, starting with Triple Book of Life, special summon a zombie from grave, and remove from play a monster from your opponent's grave. Good card. Burial from a different dimension. Mainly just to get those Mizukis back in grave, but, you know, it's, it's there. Dragon's Mirror. I love this card. Two is good. Banish materials to summon a dragon from the extra deck, fusion. You can banish from your side of the field or your grave, which is really where the Shiranui cards come into play a lot more. One foolish, of course. Uh, send a monster from your deck to the grave. Three gold sark. Banish a uh, card from your deck, and in two standby phases of yours, you get to add it to your hand. Pretty good for that immediate setup. 
and two Shiranui style sense assist. I feel like this card's okay at two. Realistically, it's gonna go to one once we start getting more Shiranui support. I already know it. But at the moment, two is fine. It it works. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can send a card from your hand to the graveyard, then activate one of these effects to either target a zombie with zero defense and grave and special summon it, or target a banished zombie with zero defense and put it in the grave. You can only activate one effect per turn, but it's fine. It works. That's what's important, right? And for the trap cards, they have also been minimized down to five. Two memory loss, poor man's breakthrough skill... When a face-up attack position monster opponent controls, just activate an effect, negate it, and switch it to defense. And three, Shiranui style Swallow Slash. Uh, tribute a zombie, target two cards on the field, destroy them, then banish a Shiranui. You mainly just banish the third, uh, one of the copies of Spirit Master just to get that third pop. But, you know, it, it's optional, really. You can be flexible with your choice on this one. Next, we get into the side deck, starting with the second copy of Plague Spreader, another Spectral Sword and Smith, just in case I need them, and a tech card that I'm actually probably going to be putting back into the main, Vampire Duke. In fact, I might up it to two. Uh, if it's normal, you can target a Dark Vampire Engrave and Special Summon it in face up defense. And when this card's Special Summoned, you can declare a card type, Monster Spell or Trap, and your opponent sends one of that type from their deck to the grave. This can actually hurt your opponent depending on what kind of deck they're running. You can only use this effect once per turn, and this card cannot be used as an Exceeds material except for the Exceeds Summon of a Dark. So, you know, that limits its usefulness slightly, but the fact of the matter is this card's more for Synchro, if anything, especially since I just got word that is going to be getting a 10-star Synchro that's generic. Well, sort of. Generic enough to use this. 5-star Unizombie, 5-star this, 10-star Synchro, and you get to deck drop your opponent a little bit. Also, I run one Doomkaiser Dragon just because I might see a mirror match, and this card is exceptionally useful. Then two Dark Hole, three MST, one Bottomless, one Compulse, one Mirror Force, one Torrential, and Vanities. And then we finally get into the extra deck, starting right off with our fusion target, which is Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon. I'm pretty sure everyone already figured this out. Two zombie types, and even though it's dragon type, I consider it zombie support, given what it does. Uh, fusion summon first. Monsters can't be destroyed by battle with this card. At the end of damage, tap at this card battle a monster that had an original level. Its attack becomes zero. If that monster is still face up on the field, you special summon a dark soul token, which, uh, you know, level attack and defense are all equal to the original level and attack of that monster that it battled. But you can only control one nether soul, which is fine. You wouldn't need more than one anyways. Also, one Archfiend Zombie Skull, which makes your zombies indestructible by card effects. Two Revived King Hades, which negates any, which causes all your zombies to be able to negate anything they battle. Uh, Shiranui Samurai Saga, which lets you send, uh, turn your opponent's monsters to defense by returning a zombie from your vanish pile back to the deck. It only switches them if their attack is less than or equal to the monster's attack that you returned. And Shogun Saga, the, the, honestly the biggest beat stick of the deck. This card is traditionally what I return with Samurai Saga's effect, but only after I've used its effect on another copy of itself. When it's, uh, when it's special summoned, you banish a zombie out of your graveyard and add its attack to this card for the turn. And if it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard by battle or card effect, you can send an additional banished zombie with zero defense back to the graveyard. I also run one copy of Ghost Trick Alucard because of the Eunice zombie beast of the pharaoh combo I realized. Uh, you detach a material and pop a set card and... If it's sent to the grave, you target another ghost trick card in your grave and add it to your hand. And monsters your opponent controls cannot target faced up ghost trick monsters or any face down defense position monsters for attacks, except this one, which is not really relevant, but it's there. The rank 5 uh, Crimson Eye Vampire Bram, I don't even use anymore, but I'm keeping it in in the event that the option ever comes available, and I have found a way to make the option available. 
Uh, you can detach a material from this card, target a monster in the opponent's grave, and special summon it to your side of the field, but if you do, only that monster can attack th for the rest of this turn. Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. Uh, during the standby phase, during the, uh, the next turn after this card you control was destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, sent to the grave, you can special summon it from the grave and face up defense. That automatically makes this card a little bad, especially if you're using the field spell for Shira Nui's, but it's, it's not terrible, and it gives you an extra defense. Rank 6 Pilgrim Reaper. People hate when I play this. Two level 6s, detached material, mill 5 cards from each deck, gains 200 attack and defense for every dark monster in either player's grave. But you can only use its effect once per turn. And number 23. The main reason I even run the fusion is because I needed another counterpart for the 8-star synchro, just in case its effect never worked out. Number 23, Lancelot, Dark Knight of the Underworld. Uh, can attack your opponent directly while it's material. If it inflicts battle damage, you target a face of monster opponent controls and destroy it for free and once per turn during other player's turn when a spell trap card or another monster's effect is activated you detach material and negate it and that is the deck or at least it is for right now because once we get more of that shira nui support to finally come out that we've had confirmed this deck will be getting a bit more modification but for right now i love what it can do i've had other people test it out and they've been able to pull off insane moves that i never even knew the deck could use before anyone run, uh, questions me about it, I do not run the Cyframe Synchro in here strictly because A, the price tag is insane, B, I don't like it in this deck. This deck is supposed to be as much zombie as anything else, and to be perfectly honest, with him being a psychic and not a zombie, I simply don't run him mostly because of principle. I'm an archetype purist, and sure, the dragon synchro kind of, dragon fusion kind of contradicts that a little bit, but he's direct zombie support, so I think he's fine. But anyways, if you have any other suggestions on how I can improve this deck, do let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, this has been Anashi, signing out.